In this tutorial, we'll look at why your navbar toggle is not working in Bootstrap. So the most common reason why your Bootstrap navbar toggle is not working is because you haven't included the right uh, portions of Bootstrap. So Bootstrap has both both a CSS uh, portion and a JavaScript portion. So if you want to include them by CDN link, like which is very common, which I'm doing here, the best way to do that is simply to go to their website. Now, when you Google Bootstrap Docs, make sure you get the right version because the first link is actually an older version, 4.1, right? So the homepage they have is actually called Get Bootstrap. It will always show you the latest version. And here they show you two ways of including Bootstrap in your project. So here I'm using those CDN links, right? So they have the CSS link, right? Which I'm linking to here. And then also JavaScript link. And they that, that also includes something called popper JS. It's not really important to understand that, but this is basically all you need. Um, the JavaScript is important because, you know, with the toggle, you're clicking on something, right? So Bootstrap needs to, needs to work with the click event with JavaScript, right? So without the JavaScript, it's not going to work. Okay. So if you have both, of, both of them and it's still not working, then make sure that in your nav bar, you're using the right syntax for these data attributes. So in Bootstrap 5, it's called data BS toggle, right? So in Bootstrap 4, it was called data toggle. Now it's data BS toggle with, you know, for Bootstrap, right? And it's called data BS target now and not data target, right? So make sure that this is also, also modern syntax. The best way to make sure this is modern syntax is to go to the documentation once again and simply copy you know, if you're going to use a nav bar, just copy it from their examples and, and then modify it to get exactly what you want, right? Because you're not going to remember all of these classes from scratch anyway. So better to just copy it from the uh, documentation. And again, make sure you get the right version, right? So I'm on 5.2 right now, but whenever it's at least five, um, you, you're going to have to use those new uh, data attributes. Okay. Now also um, here again with the data attributes, it's targeting a particular element. Right, so it's targeting here by ID. So it, make sure that the ID, this is going to be the third reason why it's not working for you is because here you're targeting a different ID than the ID, uh, than the ID of this div actually, right? So this ID needs to be the same as here. You need to include the hashtag symbol as well, right? So make sure um, you're targeting the right element. All right, now sometimes if it still doesn't work or still you can't see it for some reason is because you don't have a background color or, you know, it's transparent, or you have some kind of background color and it's not really visible. So you may want to try adding the navbar dark and BG dark, make it dark to, to at least um, check to see whether it's even there, right? If all of that is not working, I would just recommend copying one of their examples from the documentation and just start over with your navbar. What you can also do is right click, inspect, go to the console. And if there are any errors, well, make sure that you solve those errors. By the way, if this was helpful, I'd really appreciate it if you could like and subscribe. Also, check out my courses on CSS and JavaScript if you want to take those skills to an advanced level. Because in there, we will build some beautiful real-world projects from scratch so you can see how everything fits together and really master CSS or JavaScript. And I will also release other courses soon like React and Node.js. So if you want to be notified, then make sure you are subscribed to the email newsletter. You can find the link in the description. Thanks for watching and I hope to see you soon.